to my YouTube channel, Kinnama Wafashasha, and this is my husband, Ndati Shasha. On today's video, we are doing a get to know us tag. So we're going to be answering all your questions here. So the first question is, how did you guys, how did you and your husband meet and when? How we met when I uh, was in town in Pretoria doing some work for a friend of mine. And... Uh, and then it was at an internet cafe, sort of. So she walked in with a friend, and I think they approached uh, a workstation where I was. And then for some reason, I think she saw something that I was doing, and it had her name on. And that's where she asked to take a picture to say, I want to send my mom, that's my name. You know, and then I was like, okay, that's fine. You can actually take the card itself, you know. Because actually it was a it was a company name, you know, but uh, it had her name on because names are, uh, you know. So then, when I left uh, the cafe, I just you know went to her and yeah, said, "Leah, yeah. like I'm leaving, you know. Nice to meet you. Bye." You know? mm. And for me, I thought that was it. That was it. Yeah, but because and I gave her the business card, so <coughs> that's when she contacted me later on. Yeah. Yeah, and so when I got home, I took out the business card and texted him, and yeah, here we are today. One, I shot my shot. Yeah. So that's <laughs> first question done. Second question. Second question was. Um, what made you fall for your partner? Yeah, you go first. Yeah, for me, it was because, uh, um, <laughs> okay, for me personally, it was because, uh, he, 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 he was low key, man. He was not that guy when only along all over, like social media wise, not low key. Uh, aren't you? Hmm? Continue. Aren't you? <laughs> Continue. <laughs> yeah. So he, he's not all over. So, and another thing, Corey, he doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke. So I sort of like that. Sips. Water. <laughs> you? Yeah, for me, I think it was it was pretty simple. Uh, you know, I saw someone who was down to earth at the time and and you know at the time am i not now no you're not because okay. obviously you're with me so you you think you're on top of the world you know? so yeah at the time you know she she a humble person you know who she didn't say much you know and and i could tell that you know um each time when i'm with her i was myself you know she made me you know uh feel at ease you know and obviously our conversation went like flowing everything was natural so for me it felt right you know mm -hmm. to be with her and obviously grow with her and then mm -hmm. yeah because even at the time i was going through some stuff but yeah she was she was here you know so and then yeah when when the tables turned not that they've turned entirely but yeah um then i decided that yeah now she is the one nice so another question is when did he introduce you to his mom when did you introduce me to your mom i didn't really introduce her to my mom but i told my mom about her mm -hmm. and because my mom was in you know in a different province uh and obviously we were in Gauteng and so, but I did tell my mom about her, obviously showed her a picture and mm. hopefully building up to the moment where I was finally going to bring her to meet my mom. Unfortunately, that did not happen, but thank God there was a time I needed to get hold of my mom and I couldn't due to network reasons and stuff. So I told her to actually call my mom and just give her the message that I wanted to give her. That's when they spoke on the phone. And that was it. They never got to meet because sadly my mom passed on. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you have to answer that. I have to. 
you for, for, for me was that my question yes how, was that how, meant for me yes like when did he introduce you to his mom oh i see like yeah for me it was that day when you were going home and then you couldn't get hold of her and yeah you asked that's what to i call said her. yeah yes Have you always known that I'm your I'm your soulmate? And yeah. now I did from from the first time we started dating, I knew you were the one. I can't say I've always known, but like I said, it, each time when I was with you, it felt right. So for me, it was intentional. It was intentional in the sense that because it felt right when I was with you and whatever, mm -hmm. because we. Were we are friends, we are, we are boyfriend and girlfriend, so we, are, we did almost everything together. So and also, don't, don't forget, Ore, you and I talked marriage, I think we were two or three months into the relationship. Yes, yes. Yeah, so... Yeah, so, yeah, for me, like I said, it, it was intentional. Intentional, by that I mean that, you know, I deliberately, you know, uh, uh, pursued that, that she becomes, you know, uh, the woman that I... I end up getting married to. So it, it was not a thing of I've always known. I've mm. always worked towards it so that it can happen. You know? So yeah. Mm. Another question is how do we ensure that we keep our relationship private? And that we're not really private. We're not really private in a sense that we don't hide each other, you know, from mm. what our social media and stuff, private in that sense. But we are also private uh, in a sense that our, you know, our internal issues, our bedroom issues, our, our, our squabbles, our, our you know, yes. uh, our dusty well. moments and all those things, we don't, like, we don't, they are not out there, you know. So we try to keep our, our internal affairs internal, but at the same time, we, we try to express and show how much we, we love each other. That's right. How do we deal with problems we face? Ah, it's it's easy, but well, for me, it has been hard <laughs> to to just like solve problems right away. Like I'd go to bed and without us solving the issue at hand. But now, of late, I've realized to say that is actually toxic and. In that case, we do try to speak about our differences and solve them right away. So, yeah. Yeah, I think you said a mouthful. Because the only thing was that you, you, each time we needed to, you know, iron out something, you wouldn't want to talk. You just want to be yeah, there. Yeah, for days. Yeah, just sleep or whatever and be angry. But, yeah, so as we were working on it and we kept working on it, and then I think we. We got it right eventually yeah. but yeah how we deal with issues it really differs with what the issue is really you know what is it that we are dealing with because yes some we might sweep under the carpet because minor issues and and some I really think, yeah. yeah need to sit yeah. down and actually iron them out you know but yeah it's not an easy process obviously it differs from couple to couple uh, and personalities, you know, so it depends what what if this person came to Pelangale high and stuff. It's going obviously it's going to be difficult to work out anything with such a person, you know. So one needs to be reserved, uh, level-headed, and so and I'm always reserved. to can actually, you know, uh, mm -hmm. fix any issue that they are they are dealing with. But, uh, how Last question. Eh? Is it? I think, yeah. How do we keep the spark or connection in our relationship? Because we are friends. We are, yeah, we are, we are not we are restricted. Friends. We, are not, we are not just parents. And, and, and Although we are married, but we are still sort of like dating. Exactly. Like, I don't know that thing. Now we are married, we should like change how we did things before we got married. You know, for us to laugh, we don't need a third party, you know. For mm -hmm. us to, to can have fun, we don't need to be in a uh in the presence of sort of like other people or a certain surrounding i mean we i mean we laugh about a lot of a lot of things social Stupid media things. we laugh about 
things that we cook in the house, stupid comments we make, we laugh at each other's bad English, mm. you know. <laughs> so that really keeps us alive and, 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 and going. Obviously not forgetting that I'm the husband, she's my wife, mm. you know what I mean? And, and also, also have different roles to mm. play, you know. But but yeah, we, we because we are friends, we laugh about we really we like we are crazy people. I might look serious <laughs> but I'm a clown. <laughs> and also like simple things like he'd wake up one day and bring me breakfast in bed or you see yeah i know but <laughs> yeah yeah so i think we're done yeah we are are you done we are oh last question i think this one was for me because this person is saying like she has known me from since i was in pretoria right and a, a transitioning into marriage, school, motherhood. How did I manage to focus on those three? Hold on. Hey, I, it has been difficult. I don't, I don't want to lie. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not. Hey, I, I. <laughs> okay, on a serious note. Okay, being a wife, uh, I don't think it has been difficult in a sense that uh, my husband hung hard to look up patriarchy. Like, I don't need to like do the house chores alone. Like, wake up, wash dishes, cook and clean. Like, so he does most of the job. Like, honestly, he does. He does that. So he he makes my life easier. He has made my life easier in that regard. And also school wise. Well, I can't even know I got married last year, right? I got married last year and I was still in bloom. So when when 2021 came and first semester, like it was difficult because now I was pregnant at the time when the academic, academic year started, I was pregnant. And so, hey, I kept on forgetting the assignment. Hey, 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 yeah, like mid year I gave birth and it got worse. Like my my ish my studies ish. <laughs> yeah, but I'm happy you're doing okay. You're yeah, like there. luckily I haven't I haven't failed a module. Luckily, thank God. And that's because of the chumizaga. They they do remind me of the assignment and yeah. You chumi fail. Obviously, you wouldn't know which assignment is due, but my friends. Because an another one, no. So they sort of like, like randomly, they'll be like, "Hey, Scalibar, we have an assignment due tomorrow." Or yeah, one. but don't I say things like Oscar Itebal also remain the book? You do, but, so. but obviously a lion say. Ah, again for you too. <laughs> obviously a lion say, "Ah, give a day today." Oh. <laughs> yeah, but that's only you to buy. Oh, that's a job. And then motherhood, hey, hey. The rest said the better. Ah, now motherhood showed me flames, but yeah, I'm learning. I'm learning. I, I don't wanna lie to you and make it glamorous and say, hey, it's been jolly jolly, yay. Being a mother, being married and stuff, hey. Nothing is cute this side. So, yeah. I think that was the last question. Thank you. Was it? Done, done, done. One last question. Done. Mm -hmm. I think we've answered everything. Yeah, actually we did.